Hi, my name is Sanjay Bagaria, and I'm a surgical oncologist at Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville, Florida. Peritoneal carcinomatosis is a dreaded sequela of many gastrointestinal cancers and is uniformly fatal. Peritoneum is a lining of the abdomen that can often be involved with cancer. Aggressive chemotherapy has not produced long-term survivors, and aggressive surgery alone has also been equally disappointing. Hence, there is a critical need for more effective therapy. Sinoreductive hypex surgery is a complex surgical oncologic procedure that combines aggressive surgery with heated intraperitoneal chemotherapy that is used to treat advanced cancers that involve the peritoneum. It is a procedure that is typically offered to patients with metastatic cancers of the colon, rectum, stomach, appendix, and ovary. The goal of hypex surgery is to cure the patient. This is unlike chemotherapy, whose goal is for palliation. Hypex surgery involves removal of all visible cancer in the abdomen and then treatment of residual microscopic disease with heated chemotherapy. After we remove the cancer, we infuse and circulate heated chemotherapy for 90 minutes. This is done in the operating room under a single operation. It is thought that direct administration of chemotherapy kills cancer cells that are likely present but not visible. Heating the chemotherapy is thought to potentiate the effect of the drugs. The advantage of bathing the abdomen with heated chemotherapy during surgery is that we are able to deliver a high dose of topical chemotherapy without the toxicity seen with IV or oral chemotherapy. The reason is, the high dose is only for 90 minutes during surgery, which is not enough time to get absorbed into the patient's systemic circulation. Patients eligible for the surgery are those who have metastatic cancers of the colon, rectum, appendix, stomach, and ovary. Their disease must be limited to the abdomen, in other words, patients whose cancer has spread to their lungs are not eligible for hypex surgery. Also, since these surgeries can be quite long, they can last up to 15 hours, patients must be motivated and have a good performance status. I am sometimes asked if we can do the surgery using laparoscopy. We just started a laparoscopic hypex surgery program. It is for select patients that have limited disease. The advantage of laparoscopic hypex surgery is that the postoperative recovery can be easier. Here at Mayo Clinic, we use a multidisciplinary approach that involves our surgical team, medical oncologists, radiologists, and pathologists to determine if this procedure is in the patient's best interest. The intraoperative and postoperative care is carefully coordinated with our anesthesiologists and intensive care specialists. It truly requires a team approach and tertiary care resources to care for patients who undergo such a complicated procedure. Hypex surgery is not for everyone, but for carefully selected patients, it provides a chance for a cure. If you believe you may be a candidate for hypex surgery or have questions, please contact Mayo Clinic. Thank you.